Oh no, I'm gonna have to play my favorite game in my, one of my least favorite zones. Uh oh. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not gonna kill every single one of you. Boring and also meaningless. <sighs> Travel to another location and hope for some reason it sends me up there instead of where it used to send me. I don't think this, that's gonna be how it works, but like, it's worth a shot. Yeah, no, I thought so. Maybe I should talk to Sylvus. Hollow Horn Grounds. So this is just sending me back to the same place. Oh, this is the skeleton of the ancient uh, spirit. <sighs> of all the places you can't ride a horse, this is one of them. So, uh, where's the center? Okay, there it is. What is that person wearing? That's a tall hat. I very well might just cut the video and just jump to another point. I don't know. Exploring everything top from top to bottom all over again seems very boring, doesn't it? Hmm. Hey guys, I'm not actually interested in fighting in any capacity. I just want to find out how do I get over there? Do I have to talk to Celevus? He doesn't seem to like me very much. Let's at the very least check the back paths. See if anything's changed. Those aren't gonna go out just because it's Mac or anything. Hey there. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing right now. Tiki. Oopsies. Ow. Let's check out what's on uh, uh, up, up there. Because I forgot to check that area out. Ten beast bones, nice. very easy to become apathetic to the creatures that you used to be miserable being around because they were so ruthless with their super massive 
blue magic arrows. Oh. Apparently I never got that item. I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> Not that I really spent much energy or time on it anyway. Uh, it's just to get it anyway, so I mean... I suppose it wasn't... I suppose there was no case of it being not worth it. Bloody mosquitoes. Sorry, dragonflies. I still don't like them either way. Smithing stone. How am I gonna get to there? Kaled. Somehow, somewhere in Kaled. I will get access here, and I don't know how. Travel north again. Travel north and hope that we uh, find something that tells us what to do. Something died. I don't know what. I'm not interested in combat, guys. I'm just interested in finding out what I'm supposed to do. That's what I was worried about. They take out like a third, a quarter. I can't read. I can't tell. But they take out a good chunk of my health bar in one shot, and it's very hard to avoid them just by running. Bloody hell! The bloody hell! There was a. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I needed that. But the bloody hell was for the fact that I just. The lag spike. There we go. Brain. So, love us. Please give help. I need help. Pretty please. <sighs> You know what would be cool is if there were games where you, they allowed you to eventually take on the role as if you were an NPC and have an NPC main character play through out some of the game and you just sit there and watch them go through that. I have no time for idle chit chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? I have enough. Thank you. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the Mongol, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. You really are supposed to go to Leonia first. No matter. <coughs> right over here. I never would have thought to ask her, but I do need to give her a scroll. And apparently an in, in introduction. Scroll bearing a royal court coat of arms. A letter of introduction written by per per Preceptor Saluvis. Saluvis. Addressed to a glintstone sorceress by the name of Selen. The contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Ah, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. I need to get more. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. <laughs> my inquis inquisitiveness is more greed than anything at this point. Ah. Those were the two that I got. I need a lot of intelligence for these. Hmm. Well. well, well, Solivus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again, but fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. Okay, that does not tell me how to... Ha uh hunt down this guy. Sir, we need a chat. Please be as straightforward as possible and tell me what in the world I'm doing. It's hard for me to do my job when you can't tell me exactly how to do it. Oh no. Don't die. Fudge. <sighs> Fall damage can be a slight bit more forgiving, personally. I would like that, but I understand why it's not. It's because there's a delicate balance of, hey, we need to make sure that the character doesn't get too out of balance. There has to be some linearity to it all. And then there's also, hey, uh, we don't want them dying if they just drop off this little ledge here. How do we make sure that doesn't happen? Unfortunately, there seems to be three levels of uh, fall damage. Num level one, you take no fall damage. Level two, you take half your health of fall damage. Level three, you die. So you know, perfectly balanced. How do I get back down there? There we go. No time for that. The only thing I will. Are we under? I have enough. 
Okay. I guess we're talking to uh, Blythe then. I, I feel like the idea is that I need to kill General Radon in order to continue this. But I don't know if that's the case. Who is General Radon? Where is the... Where is they? That works. I suppose. There we go. Almost died. <sighs> Gotta make sure they don't interrupt our conversation. Well met. What news? Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsgur's Radan. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle <gasps> at the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. Hold on. Ofnir? Gideon Ofnir? Doesn't mention Radan at all. Morgoth, the grace given, lord of the capital city. Langdell, east of Altus, plateau, finish Elden Ring first. Renala, Queen of Carrion, Royals, Academy of Rhea Lucaria, North of Limgrave, Above Lyurnia. I didn't write all of them down, did I? Oh, first one was... Radon, the Red Lion, Caelid Wilds, Rikard, Praetor... I, the rest of those don't really matter. Uh, so... Is it finally time? Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Is Alexander here? Alexander is so charming. He's he feels like Siegfried. Champions, welcome. The stars have aligned. The festival is nigh. General Radan. Mightiest demigod of the shattering awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. It was story gated. Ah. You came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering. A demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Please don't die, Iron Fist Alexander. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, you hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Oh boy. Who are you? Polite bow. Are 
Are you a mute? Or do you just choose not to speak? Wait. Are these players or characters I could I could meet? If they're characters, I'm not going to look for them before doing this. I've been waiting for this. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Took your sweet time. The players are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. Into the fray together, eh? <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. I'm interested. Into the fray together, eh? <laughs> and exactly what you've got. What moveset you have. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Raise I'll ever be. <laughs> Is the arena on? Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. I did not expect. Sorry, time. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. So if I got all those other howling at the sky. Sorry. But now we must make merry. Oh gathering of champions. The revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radan Festival. Heartening cry. Are you trying to attack me? Oh good, no. Let me do something real quick. I have a feeling this is someone I- these three are people I could meet. But maybe I'm wrong. Also, what was the one I just got? It was like Howling Cry or something. Heartening Cry. You will find the field of battle past the church ahead. Upon the shore under the fort, General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. <laughs> Let me just double check with everyone, see what you got, what you guys all have to say. Nothing. Still, should not have jumped there. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I... Into the fray together, eh? Into the fray together. Let's see what you're made of. Can't wait to see what you're made of. That sounds sexual. That sounds so flirtatious. Oops. Um. I will say, he is one of the few men who actually catches my fancy. Which is amazing. I didn't know that was possible. Oh yeah, that's never accessible. Splitting stone level six. <laughs> that actually feels kind of mocking more than anything. Excuse me. 
did you have to put the crossbars in the way? Okay, fine. Penance, or tenants, something like that. I forget how English works. Let's see here. That's not quite... How? I have a feeling those were hackers. Or something. Because there's no way they waited out there and left a message. Because you can't do that. That, that is very specific timing. Oh, it's you three. Alexander. Okina, I didn't mean to summon Okina. Radon Spear, oh goodness gracious. Patches! Patches! So I can summon multiple people. Ow! I can summon more than you usually can. I don't know who Lionel is. Patches will return to his world immediately. Ow! This is a big guy, and I cannot see anything. Please tell me he's not dead. He's just returned to his world. Alexander Warrior Jar has died? Oh, I shouldn't have summoned him. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'll be your killer tonight. Let's get some friends. Oh, jeez. Who died? Casual greeting. Cool. I don't know who that was. Why are you on a tiny, dinky little horse? Okina has died. Ow. Such is the risk. Of course, Patches was the only one who returned to the world. Oh. Sorry. Radon Spear. There were more summon signs over this hill, right? There we go. Oh, hey, Okina's back. Okay. I was so worried when they said die. Oh, that was a good way to dodge it. That was fun. 
and dodge. That I got no healing effect. Either that or that's how much damage it dealt. Let me, let me, let me. No! Very well. I wanted this to look cool. I wanted an execution. Radon's Great Rune. Remembrance of the Star Scourge. That was very, very much not as cinematic as I was expecting it to be. Oh, Oh. <gasps> Did I just change the world? What happened? Uh, did I just shoot a nuclear warhead or something? <laughs> I don't know if I remember seeing this loading screen. It's been 50 hours though, so... <laughs> Blythe, you're still alive. Alexander! One moment, Blythe. I need to check up with Alexander, see if he's okay. Ah, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I... I hid like a coward. You were hit. You... And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. No, oh, Alexander, you did amazing. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> Don't let that golden heart turn cold. The bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> I'm not gonna check that one. Praise the lovable sword. I was so scared. I had been so scared he was going to die permanently, and I was like, he would want to die that way. But still. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha! <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Where Rani's fate would be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more. For Mistress Rani. Where did the star bite the earth? Is the champion. I do have some business to check in on, though.
I do feel bad about Alexander. I was worried of for him. Blythe a little less so, because, you know, he's not a pot. He's made of flesh and skin and bone. But... Alexander, I wasn't sure, because... His flesh is much sturdier than ours. Humanoids. But... It's also... That also makes it much more brittle. It's what Mike's diamonds... Diamonds, you would not want to make them into a sword, because they would be incredibly brittle. If... They, even though they're extremely hard. That's what the thing is about, like, steel swords. You make a sword that has, like, a soft core more than anything, and that will get, give it more strength. That will prevent it from snapping in half. But... He survived, and that's... That makes me happy. Well, I can only assume that this, the star bit the Earth underground. But, I mean, checking topside of Kaled would probably not be a bad idea. All I know is a general direction where... Bloody hell. The star landed. Don's spear. <sighs> I wonder where I can get more of those. Also, I have 74,000 runes. I don't know if they're trying to compensate for how late in the game I'm supposed to be, which is about now, I'd assume. Or if I'm even... F if I'm actually ahead of the curve and I'm supposed to be not fight them yet. But... Whatever the case, it's too late. I've defeated Radon. <sighs> Let's rest. It would be cool if Alexander showed up in different locations, but I'm sure that's probably not the case. I have been talking. I need more arcane. Let's just go ahead and pop one of these. Ah, I'm still a bit off. Use one more of these. That should do. Maybe. Uh, just a few hundred off. Um... There we go. This should do it. And now let's take the designated exit. I'm not surprised by how Patch is left. I should check in on him. It's been a while. I never defeated that giant, did I? Then again, I haven't yet- I had not yet upgraded my sword. Ah, here we go. Redmain Castle. Ah, right. Wait. This is different. I don't know who she is.
There you are, sir. At last. The war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot and crippled by madness, all he wanted was an honorable death. Finally, my work is done. I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. Man, I wish I did this later in the episode. It's time I went on my way. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. I think that was a repeat, but let's just check it's one time. more time. May we meet yes. Let's go to the Church of the Plague and see if uh, the star landed above or below ground. I'm guessing it was below ground because, well, that's where we were trying to go. Oh, Millicent, where did you go? I don't see it up here. Heads up. Well, that was loud. Level 9 Golden Room. There we go. I knew there was going to be more. Come along. Yeah, but you can't you can't critical these guys apparently, which I find interesting, but. Just a good thing to note more than anything. <laughs> I sent that halberd flying. Wait, was that a halberd or an axe? Uh, either or. That pole arm flying. What are you guys doing here? Well. <sighs> Wasn't expecting you.
I guess we'll do this. There we are. Level four golden rune. Yeah, I've already been there. Oh, hey. You guys actually fight back. It's a pity I don't actually want to harm you in the first place anymore. There's a dog ahead, apparently. Again, I'm not trying to hurt you. You're trying to hurt me. So now I'm just having to defeat you because I don't want to be annoyed by you guys constantly attacking. If only I had a checkpoint. I'm surprised that's one of the words that they give you. Oh! Hey, old friend. <laughs> well, this was an unexpected turn of events. They weren't kidding when they said dog. Well then, a pleasant surprise, for sure. Let's just journey past everything. We do not need to face everything. Black key bolts. Oh, then. Shall we dance? Oops! Gosh darn it. Oh, quit it. You'll get over my presence soon enough. Swamp Lookout Tower. Eternal Darkness. Creates dark space that draws in spells. Forbidden Sorcery of Celia. Town of Sorcery. 
creates a space of darkness that draws in sorceries and incantations. The sorcery can be cast while in motion. Originally a lost sorcery of the Eternal City, the despair that brought about its ruin made manifest. One more thing to do. Now let's take a look. Order's Blade does seem to last, last a bit longer than the Flame Grant Me Strength, so... So... So, is there anything special about these pots? Or is this just a revenge opportunity? Whoopsies. I would hope for more than just revenge. Revenge is rather pointless, after all. I prefer constructive use of my time. But discovery that this is a pointless endeavor is, I suppose, quite constructive. Don't know where they're talking about, but... Siofra River Bank. There's hopefully something different down here. If not, then I have no idea what I'm doing next. Hey, some dwelling arrows. Those are lovely. Jump. And I'm hoping this will do something different. I'm not putting that much faith in it. That's why. I'm not putting much faith in it. Where am I even supposed to go? If we were to calculate where the star landed, be somewhere along here. So, let's go talk to Rani. See if she has anything to say about it. We're taking this. Let's go ahead and take a look.
What was it that required arcane? By the way, where? Rodan's great rune, devoid of any benediction. Seek the divine tower of Kaelid, which stands upon the precipice at the Dragon Bearer's shore. Well, that's good to know. Uh oh. Um. Uh, um, this might be a problem. Uh, um, hmm. Because if I can't talk to her and she's staying perfectly still, that implies that she went the path of a doll. As in she lost all form of locomotion. Nothing's driving her body. Did we get her killed? I have no time for idle. The only thing I will hear. Are we understood? I have enough of Yeah, but I don't know where the mistress is. Maybe EG will know what is happening? Because I don't know where the star landed. I wasn't given a very clear point. Did I just not talk to him enough? That may have been it. Ah. You finally come. Blythe told me everything. You've defeated General Radan. Unlocking the stars. The general was blighted by scarlet rot and driven to madness. But not long ago, he was hailed as the mightiest demigod of them all. There is no parallel to your achievement. Nor to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs. And the path to Nokron has opened. Descend underground, where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron. Karian filigreed crest lowers focus points consumed by skills. A talisman adorned with the royal crest lowers focus points consumed by skills. An honor said to have once been awarded to Carrion knights who served as direct retainers to the kingdom's princesses. Now there is only one princess, Rani, daughter of Renala. Something else for you? Oh, Blythe wanted me to tell you not to bother waiting for him and head straight to Nokron. Blythe has been given an important task. Apparently, a matter of great urgency. You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone with a fallen starstruck Limgrave and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron, so that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean. You need descend underground and make it yours so that late. Nokron, where in the hell is Nokron? Because uh, this is technically where Limgrave is. Barely.
Does Kale have information for me? I'm... This is... I love this. This is fantastic. The NPCs could be a little bit more clear about where the star struck. Because I don't know where to go. Ah, it's you again. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? Oh, I may as well. Hmm. I could do with a few more arrows. Goodbye. Nice to do business. Indeed. Where the fudge am I going? There's nothing here. I've already I've already scouted this entire region before. I don't remember anything is the problem. This area is the su southern peninsula of Limgrave. Let's go to below the well. See if that gives me any visuals. The big problem about this game is that it's so big that it's like, hey, you made quest progress. How do I access that quest progress? Later, chumps. I almost got there. I kind of deserve that, don't I? Ow. I'm glad they're just going into my spine and not into Torrent at all. I had just exited into that range. What has changed? Don't bother. They're bothering. Also, I already checked that area. So this is definitely not... This is Siofra. This is... I already knew that this was Siofra. And I just forgot for some reason. So... What now? Where did it land? I'm just gonna talk to her and then talk to Height. Kenneth, whatever his name is. <sighs> I'm gonna stop for the night soon, but I... I don't know what I'm doing. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? <laughs> you don't know either. You wished very well. Oops. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in Glimstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glimstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while glimstone contains residual life, and thus, the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that glimstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. 
A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Okay. Hey there. That's the wrong button. It doesn't show up on here, but, uh... Oops. I think I found it. I think I found where the star hit. 